Are you ready? I'm forcing Carrie to be in this video, as always. She's just, you know, living her life and... This is basically the new Canon M50. And I think when we made the M50 video, it must have been right around five years ago, right? It was our first trip together. Yeah. Five year anniversary is about to come up, so that's, that's crazy to think about. Think about how much has happened in the last five years. This is where we got cut to a montage of like random things that have happened it's throughout the year. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah, yeah. The ups and the downs. Yeah. The laughs and the tears. Hey there. Hey. So. Oh. Do you think your dad's gonna like the drone? Yeah, I think he's really gonna like it actually. Okay. If I ever need to seek permission to enter the family, he'll be like, <laughs> no! And then I'll be like, well, remember that time that I gave you that drone? He'll be like, ah, so fine. Right? I'm close to someone right here. Will you marry me? Yeah. We're at a place called Divorce Beach though. <laughs> How funny is that? <laughs> So yeah, obviously making this Canon R50 video is not my top priority at the moment. Uh, in about 48 hours, I plan on trying to do the thing. Never done this before. I never plan on doing this again. So uh, no idea what I'm doing as usual. I did look up how far in advance are you supposed to, uh, you know, try to find an engagement ring. And uh, apparently it can take several weeks or several months to get an engagement ring. Uh, I have like 48 hours. I do think I need some help kind of lining a few things up. So I feel like I need to maybe tell somebody. So hold on, is this an engagement ring? Yeah. Is that what right. you said earlier? Yeah. Uh. Okay. But don't, no, don't, don't make any faces. This is right. awesome. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, but no one knows. No, no, no one so, knows. This is great. You shoot weddings all yeah. the time. You're around all this stuff. Harry's been wanting to get into metal detecting forever. It should be coming just in time for the trip. Okay. So we're going to go there and she's going to use it. So I want to plant the jewelry somewhere where That's she can find funny. it. Okay, I'm trying to keep this like super low, low key. key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Easy. I need to find, so I'm not even gonna search on Google Maps or anything. No. Just so that she doesn't have a chance of seeing like, what's, why are you looking up just, oh, use I my phone. Okay, we cool. Use my phone. I also need to search the dark web with your phone too <laughs> yeah, for all this it. stuff. But Carrie very much is not like all about the ring. At least that's what she says, or is that a trap? Is that just like a No, no, they, they, they care about the ring. They care about how you ask. I think that's the most important thing. Trash. It's gonna be on our five year anniversary on a dog beach. Yes, that's perfect. And she's, she's gonna, find gonna it love with that. Detector. Okay, she's cool. She's gonna love that. It takes that's a long gonna, time that's to gonna figure make that out. Yeah. The ring worth more. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna give more value to the ring. Am I supposed to ask for blessings and stuff? Usually, what happens is you contact the parents and you ask for the blessings, and then they say yes, you go get the ring, and you're good. And then what you, if they say no? <laughs> no, 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 they won't say no. <laughs> I don't even know what size to get. I took some video clips of her holding a camera just so I could reference it later. <laughs> you just get a, a standard size and then later you modify it. Okay, yeah. cool. So yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. no pressure on no that. No pressure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I looked right it now up. The pressure is on the style, the look, and how much you want to spend on it. <laughs> how much your wedding rings? Oh. If I spent like a crazy stupid amount of money on it, no, no. Because at this point, like we basically share finances. Yeah, already. no, it's not gonna be. She's the gonna money. be like. It's gonna be the effort. So if she sees this video and she sees that you're conjuring all this up in under one hour, she's gonna hate you. So, <laughs> you want to go shoot. get tacos before getting my ring? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving and I need to be fed before I make a big decision. So yeah. Well, let's go get food. Okay. Awesome. Six four. I have a lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hello, look at all these jewelry stores. Holy crap. This is where they got the good stuff. Yeah, they're bringing the goods. They're bringing in the goods. Dude, are those the- That's jewelry, I, brother. Is that? Yeah, I mean, they definitely are pretty strapped. Yeah. Hey, we should do a heist here, right? Isn't this where they do all the heists and stuff in movies? Well, actually, right? they filmed Dark Knight, Batman Returns, uh, Batman 2 here. We okay, are here. International Jewelry Center. All right. It worked nice. out. I'm it happy. worked out perfect, and it looks like an anamorphic lens. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're like about one day away, I am definitely starting to feel a little nervous. I've had some time with the the ring now to like look at it several times, and just and I think it's good. And I think it's also one that Carrie 
would like. But Carrie used to work at a jewelry store, so she really knows jewelry. So I don't know. Just got a notification that Carrie is going to be getting her metal detector today, so that should be good. Hopefully, it comes in so that tomorrow we can grab it and head on out and we can make it happen. I was gonna just like straight call her parents but like we're in like group chats with them so i didn't want them to like look at their phone and see a missed call from me and then just like text our group chat like hey is everything okay sorry i missed your call uh that would totally blow my cover pretty quick i think so i just sent out some text messages that were like hey i'm planning a surprise for carrie you have a chance to talk today that way the instant they look at the text they know oh okay not text in the group chat or anything like that oh my god yes <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's a great idea. It's uh, definitely something that, you know, it, I'm taking it seriously, so. Oh, shit. Okay. Now it is like real. Like, it is like, it's not just in my head anymore. It's now out there in the world. And, uh, and honestly, I feel better now. So yeah, anyways, I better get back in and uh, do this whole thing. And we're here at Sony's camera camp and you know, it's it's fun seeing everybody. And I guess this could be my last day as a single free man. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? This is the most blur you can get. Possible. 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 So today is a very special day because... We got this! Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, no, it's our anniversary. <laughs> Oh, that sh too, yeah. It's our five year anniversary today. Yay! Isn't that cool? <laughs> We're starting off today like it's Christmas because I got something and Carrie got something. This is my anniversary present. Carrie has been wanting a metal detector for so freaking long, so it's actually kind of perfect that it came in just in time for our anniversary. The Equinox 900, simultaneous multi frequencies. Carrie's been just like full on nerding out. I've never seen Carrie nerd out about anything. Wait, why are you looking at metal detectors? I really want one. I always see the old guys on the beach doing it, and it just looks like fun. I'm on the forums, I'm reading all about it. I'm, I'm watching the, the metal detecting YouTube channels. But look at this. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Uh, it, it you have like a giant thing of eye crust. Oh. Like, I kind of want to lick my. Hand to get it. That's fine. I think you gotta. We've been together for five years. This is this. Is, You've this actually is done that to me before. You've like done the whole like. Mm -hmm. eh. I also bought some accessories. So this is my chance to sneak away with Carrie's mini detector and try it out on the ring. Not super convinced that the signal is strong enough. So maybe if I attach this little screw on top, I think that's gonna send out a stronger signal. I see a lot of couples doing it too. I like how deep my voice is right now. <laughs> Do the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of talking yesterday and my, my vocal cords is just like shredded. Boot it up. Just got to do the firmware update on this and see if I could bind it to some of my... Nobody cares about what you have. It's all about the Equinox 900. Okay, so here's the charging cable. I want to secure it on there a little bit better without having to put a big hole in the box, but I conveniently have these tiny little M2 screws that I can send through. CKG scooper. Gene and I, we're a couple that doesn't get each other gifts. It's stressful trying to go find a gift for somebody. And then you gotta be sneaky about it. And it's now, like, I know this looks a little bit funny, but these motors are all kinds of metal and magnets in there. So it sends out a super strong signal. This is gonna be a good guarantee that we are gonna find this thing. What is that? Whoa, hey. Uh... It says right on it, for digging use only. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so... You look ready. Equinox 900. Oh yeah. I ain't playing. It never used to be this rocky. This is all from the storm. Storms are good for metal detecting though, right? Yeah, they say that after a storm is the best time to go out. One, because if like the ground's wet, it helps with like the, the conductivity. Can I be the shoveler? The scoop, sand scoop. Sand scoop? Yeah. You think you'll find anything today? We'll find something. I think it'd be cool if I set up like a background, but we're like in the background. So it's like an Easter egg, you know? Like if you look out the window of the fake backdrop, you see us actually back there. At All right, so I'm just gonna plant this camera somewhere over here and uh, 
And here it goes. So I actually spent a lot of time thinking about how I want to film this or if I even want to film it because I kind of wanted this moment to just be for us. But after thinking about it a little bit more, I just figured, okay, this is just one of those super important moments that I, I only have one chance at capturing. But to prevent it from being a distraction or just being too much camera in your face thing, I just kind of planted the camera at a nice far distance with a wide angle lens. I'm just gonna try to dig a little hole here without it being too obvious. I have my back turned to her, so if she looks over, it just looks like I'm just kind of digging through my FPV bag. Well, the ring is now officially underground. Carrie comes back, she's having issues with trying to pair her headphones. At this point, I'm seeing some people walk over towards our direction, so here I just take the bag and put it over the ring. So I figure I could kill some time by flying some FPV. And I try to take off and I realized that actually I forgot to fasten one of my propellers. So uh, yeah, it just kind of flew off. So now I'm actually trying to figure out where that propeller flew off. Gotta be somewhere around here. Yeah. And look at PETA just trying to be a tough dog. Yeah. And yeah, this is why it was really nice having control over when Carrie finds the ring because I wouldn't want all these distractions. But Carrie loves looking for things, which is kind of cool because I hate looking for things. I'm good at losing it. Carrie's good at finding it. I look around and this is a big open clearing. This might be my shot. So I move the bag. Timing is just so good. So I tell Carrie, maybe the propeller is near my bag. Wait, maybe it's over here by the bag. I tear up every time I watch this. Just like that, now we are engaged. Wow. <laughs> I just remember my brain completely melted in that moment. <laughs> I was like, holy sh**, what's happening? So you actually didn't know it was coming at all? Not at all, no, I was in such disbelief. I don't think I've ever seen someone go from laughing to crying so fast. That was like zero to a hundred. I don't think I've rate. ever cried that fast. <laughs> I was truly surprised. You were like, surprised. no, 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 I'm telling you, like my brain just exploded in that moment. For a while, I was starting to even think like, did you get the metal detector in order to like, <laughs> as like a prompt and to, to try to give me an idea on how to do it? Like, No, I just wanted to find pennies and junk on the beach. <laughs> it's so funny. Like you thought it was some deep manipulation like that's pretty hardcore <laughs> well as soon as i saw you crying i got up but then you were like aren't you gonna get back on the knees i had to get back down so well, i had you to didn't, do it twice you didn't <laughs> officially ask me that's true that whole moment was just like a blur in my head too <laughs> this worked out good huh the whole moment was perfect the happiest i've ever felt ever and i love that it was at the dog beach that's one of my favorite places to be and the tree in the background yeah What's kind of cool is when I was editing this, I was looking through some old footage. Mm -hmm. Same beach. Yeah, same yeah. beach. Yeah. Is that the tree right there? <gasps> that is the tree. That right is the, That's the tree. That's the same tree. So this is how the beach usually looks. So that's kind of what I was expecting. When I saw all the rocks, I'm like, I hope I can dig this. But luckily, <laughs> it's <was> very easy. <laughs> so here we are, five years later and five pounds heavier. Maybe a little more <laughs> than five pounds. Maybe a little more. <laughs> <laughs> you actually ended up getting some metal detecting in too after a while. Yeah, and I found some stuff. Nothing 
exciting as a ring, but you found like a, a twenty-two round bullet cartridge. <laughs> like I did, I did. <laughs> and I even got to do a little bit of flying. <laughs> Now that you have the ring for a little bit, I, I'm glad that you still like it. They got, I no, I don't like it. I love it. I think a lot of times when guys have to pick out a ring, it's like, uh-oh. Like, hey, buy one of the most important pieces of jewelry in your life. <laughs> now go. It's, it's, it's quite a bit. Go, go. But. Two days before. <laughs> and they close in an hour. I had my first flight as an engaged man. <laughs> Was it a good one? It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> There's like some sea glass and stuff. Oh, a piece of glass, huh? Yeah, this piece of metal I huh. found. It's also a fiance finder. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I got the size way off though. I was thinking it was maybe like my pinky, but then I realized it's like, actually, no, like my pinky is way fatter. 